The recent dismissal of Kwasi Kording from the UK government does little to quell the ongoing issue in the country. Kording, who had just assumed the post as the finance minister on September 6th, only saw his appointment short-lived as he was asked to step down by Liz Truss. Kording was only privileged to serve for 38 days in office. This resulted in him becoming the second shortest serving chancellor of the Exchequer after Ian McLeod, who only served for 30 days before his death from a heart attack. Though Cording was widely considered to be the primary culprit of the UK's trustonomic problems, however his dismissal is only a small victory in the fight against these ongoing problems the country is currently facing. His new set of economic policies, which he announced a few weeks after his appointment, was said to have only caused several damages in the country. And this was mostly what prompted him to be fired by the Prime Minister, who had been trying her best to solve the problems the country was facing. The UK's problem is still very much a pressing issue and one that requires immediate attention. Only by addressing the root cause of the problem can the UK hope to make any real progress in combating the issues lingering. The present economic policy of the UK's Prime Minister, dubbed Trussonomics, is the topic of much discussion. The administration is determined to change the current economic situation since there has been much going on in the nation. However, the problem appears to be getting worse. Please watch, like, and share this video. Also, drop your comments and thoughts below, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more related content similar to this. Without further ado, let's dive right in. The British government is in turmoil, and the economy is in a state of flux. The country is in the midst of a political and constitutional crisis, and there is no end in sight. But how did all this begin? Here is it. A September post by Sky News reported that since the Conservative came into power in 2010, Liz Truss's economic plan is perhaps the biggest shift in economic policy. Trussonomic, which is also referred to in the media as the mini-budget, meaning an unofficial budget, was announced to the public by Liz Truss and former Chancellor Kwasi Kording. It was aimed majorly at following a fiscal stimulus, which entailed tax cuts and increasing government spending. It was also aimed at reducing inflation and ensuring a seamless economic flow. However, following the release of the policy, which Cording was seen to play a significant part in, the country began to face a sequence of unanticipated economic occurrences. Some of the events it led to are An increase in the cost of UK's government borrowing the cost of UK government borrowing saw an increase after the implementation of the mini-budget, with the yield on 10-year gilts rising above 4% for the first time since the financial crisis in 2008. Kwasi Kording's mini-budget was widely seen as a missed opportunity to provide much-needed relief to businesses and households struggling in the wake of the COVID-19 pandemic. According to a post by The Guardian, a few days after Cording's announcement the yields on 10-year gilts rose from 3.5% to 4.3%. However, after the Bank of England intervention, the yields fell back a little to 4.05%. This increase in borrowing costs is likely to put further pressure on the government's already stretched finances and will be a key concern for policymakers in the months ahead. A sharp fall in London stocks with the mini-budget failing to meet market expectations, London stocks experienced a sharp fall. This sent shockwaves through the markets, with volatility reaching unprecedented levels. The FTSE 100 index plunged by over 0.9% according to a post by Reuters, with shares in banking and travel stocks among the biggest fallers. It was a disappointing start to the day for UK markets, which had been enjoying a strong run in recent weeks. All of this bad news has led to fears that the UK economy could be heading for a sharp slowdown or even a recession. This is likely to cause further market volatility in the days and weeks ahead. Many businesses are struggling to cope with the changes, and there is a lot of uncertainty about the future. With the stock market being particularly hit hard and shares plunging in value, this has caused a lot of financial anxiety for people who have invested in the stock market. A sudden fall of the pound sterling rate against the U.S. dollars. The pound sterling rate against the U.S. dollar fell suddenly as well, causing concern among businesses and investors. It fell to a record low of 1.03 as of the 26th of September and is currently at 1.12. The drop came as a surprise to many, as the pound had been steadily gaining ground against the dollar in the past weeks. There are a number of possible explanations for the sudden fall one of which was as a result of courting doubling down on the 45 billion pound package of tax cuts and insisting on going further with the plans. 
Another possibility is that Brexit uncertainty is causing investors to seek safe havens for their money, such as the U.S. dollar. Whatever the reason, the sudden drop in the pound sterling rate is sure to cause some turbulence in the markets. Businesses that export to the U.S. will see their margins squeezed, and consumers may start to see prices rising for imported goods. It remains to be seen how long the pound sterling will remain weak against the dollar, but for now, businesses and consumers will need to adjust to the new reality. An upsurge in mortgage rates. Mortgage rates have been on the rise in recent months, causing concern for many home buyers and those looking to refinance their loans. However, with the mini budget plan in place, the mortgage markets have been pushed to the edge with rates seeing a further increase. And according to a September post by FT Advisor, lenders have been warned of an almost 6% increase in rates. For home buyers, this means that their monthly mortgage payments will be higher. For those looking to refinance, it may no longer be possible to get a lower rate. This can be a problem for many families who are already struggling to make ends meet. All of these that have happened within these few months of Truss's appointment has led to her firing courting and appointing Jeremy Hunt as the new finance minister and chancellor. However, even with the action taken, the problem caused is still yet to be solved, as they are still lingering day by day. As a result, Liz Truss recently announced that she admits the mini-budget has caused disruption to the economy and there was the need for changes to be made to the plan. Here's a video clip from Liz Truss announcing the latest development on the changes with the mini-budget. But it is clear that parts of our mini-budget went further and faster than markets were expecting. So the way we are delivering our mission right now has to change. We need to act now to reassure the markets of our fiscal discipline. I have therefore decided to keep the increase in corporation tax that was planned by the previous government. This will raise £18 billion per year. It will act as a down payment on our full medium-term fiscal plan, which will be accompanied by a forecast from the independent OBR. We will do whatever is necessary to ensure debt is falling as a share of the economy in the medium term. We will control the size of the state to ensure that taxpayers' money is always well spent. Our public sector will become more efficient to deliver world-class services for the British people. And spending will grow less rapidly than previously planned. This is surely a smart move taken by the Prime Minister, but the question remains on if these new changes would eventually help in resolving the problem the country is facing and not worsen. Do you trust Liz Trust's economic strategy is a viable solution to the country's problems? Feel free to let us know in the comment section. Also, kindly share this video with your family and friends at home and abroad. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more updates. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, check out the next.